I expected that, but not that soon. Hey guys, so this is my review for episode 3 of Supernatural Season 12. And they did something that I thought they weren't going to do for at least a few more episodes, but I knew it was going to happen. So this episode is, in a sense, almost a filler. There's no real main story going on. Well, there actually is with Crowley and Cass, except that is so small and, and not used, even though it's super awesome. That's not really the main story. The whole part is about the three Winchesters going on a hunt together and they fight off this ghost that, oh yeah, the, I'll have to admit, the opening sequence was really badly shot. Like that weird, like, cut, zoom in, cut, zoom in, cut, zoom in on the, the baby, the fake toy's face. That was so bad. And then the ghost itself wasn't that really interesting. It, it, like, we saw that the brothers really don't know what to do when their mother is in danger. Like, they're more so for, worried about her safety, which is exactly what I knew was going to happen. And then she basically contemplates that she still needs to figure out her own self, and so she goes off at the end and knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen, but not this early. I thought they had her for at least a few more episodes, but that obviously means that she's not top bill. She's not a main cast member. She's probably going to be in and out like Cass and Crowley. So, kind of expected that with a contract wise. Um, but even still, eh, I, I kind of I understand what's happening there. The whole ghost story was kind of, in my opinion, a really weak story. But the idea that she still needs to figure out who she is and she. Fears that by working with the brothers at the time that she's going to be a hindrance to them and they'll be all be in danger more so because of it. That I understood. That was standard. I knew it was going to happen, but I got, expected it and it was okay except for the ghost story. The ghost story was really stupid. However, the idea of Crowley and Castiel teaming up to find the devil, I, I thought that was like a weird buddy cop movie, like when they're trying to get in the car and they're going back and forth. That was funny, the dialogue between the two when they were uh, Agent Beyonce and Jay-Z, but they were like supernatural people because they came in and they knew exactly. So, like, go uh, cops with superpowers or supernatural powers. I thought that was really funny. So, I'm really upset that that wasn't a majority or if not at least half of that episode. Because though every scene those two were together was hilarious and really funny. And honestly a lot more interesting than what was going on with the three. So... I didn't really enjoy this episode too much. I thought that things were predictable. Uh, certain elements of the story were, could have been much more abused, or sorry, used for <clears throat> the other side story of Cass and Crowley. That opening sequence was really bad. Some of the cinematography in this episode too is really strange, like really weird edits, really weird shots. Like, I don't know who shot this, but it wasn't really well done. Anyways, that's my review for this one. I'm going to give this episode a 3 out of 7, honestly. The only thing that happened that was significant was the fact that the mother left. Oh, and then, yeah, like I said, the idea that Cass and Crowley could be supernatural buddy cops. I hope that's a lot more of a mainstay in the next few episodes. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. I'll see you guys next time.